the big idea that we're going to keep coming back to over and over is that Taylor expansion provides the best polynomial approximation to your function near the expansion point. And it's the derivatives that really matter. If we have a function and we consider the first couple of terms of the Taylor series, we've got the zeroth order term and the first order term, that together gives you a straight line. Of course, you've seen that before in calculus class. But adding the higher order terms, the quadratic term, the cubic term, higher order terms, these give you polynomial approximations to your functions that are really good approximations near to where you're doing the expansion. It's really the derivatives that tell you what is happening as you move away from the expansion point. So let's think, let's do a thought experiment. Perhaps this central insight could be useful. Maybe we can conquer the world. What do I mean by that? Let's say that we have a function that has time as its input. I don't know, maybe something like a stock market index. Then if we know something about the function right now, if we know its value right now, if we know the value of its first derivative, second derivative, third derivative, more derivatives right now, then all we need to do is use that Taylor expansion formula about the present, and we can predict the future with perfect accuracy. Wow, that seems like that could be really useful. But why am I not doing that and making a lot of money? Why am I recording this at five o'clock in the morning? What goes wrong with this picture? Besides the fact that divination is dangerous. There are a lot of problems with this simple sort of application of a Taylor expansion formula. How do you estimate all those derivatives? What kinds of accuracy do you need? How many terms do you need in order to get convergence? As we know, that can be a subtle issue. That's not something that we're going to answer right now. That's something that we will address in the future. In the future, we will see that Taylor series convergence is part of a more general theory, a theory of power series. We will not deal with all that stuff right now. We will return to this in volume four. For the present, though, we're going to use this Taylor expansion formula to the best of our abilities. <laughs>